comfortable on your mat, sitting up nice and tall, maybe having your legs crossed or having them outstretched if that feels better for you today. And we'll just take a couple, let's do three breaths through our nose and out through our mouth just to settle in. So taking a breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Two more like that, in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Once more, in. And out, letting those shoulders just relax, settling here. And then see if you can get your shoulders above your hips and your ears above your shoulders. Nice and long, stacking everything up, maybe closing your eyes. Taking some time to settle into your breath. And we'll bring our fingertips to the floor. Let's inhale, reaching up, getting nice and long in the spine. Palms come together and exhale to your heart. We'll do three more like that. Inhale, reaching up, and exhale, sinking down. Two more. And last one. And settling back to your heart with your hands, letting your thumbs rest at your heart center. Closing your eyes again. And taking this opportunity to set an intention for your practice. Whatever quality you'd like to bring in. Setting that now. And then we'll reach the fingers back up to the ceiling, letting your hands float back down to the mat. Letting your fingertips rest on your mat. Let's reach the left arm up, getting nice and long in that left side, and then coming over to your right, keeping your left hip heavy on the mat, taking a couple of breaths into that rib cage, and then slowly letting your left arm float back down to the floor. We'll do the other side, taking your right arm up to the ceiling, reaching it up a little higher. And then slowly coming over to your left. Right hip heavy. Breathing into that rib cage. And we'll let the right arm float back down to the floor. Taking your left hand to your right knee and Bringing your right hand just behind you, nice gentle twist here, keeping your hips rooted down, just turning from your shoulders. Sending your breath all the way down into your belly. And then we'll come back around to the front. We're going to slide our hands out in front, letting your forehead come down towards the floor. Taking a few breaths up that back body. And then we'll slowly come back up. And let's switch our legs. So if your legs are crossed, we'll take the opposite leg in front. And we'll take the right hand to the left knee. 
left hand behind, opening your shoulders, hips staying settled into the mat, breathing all the way down into your belly. And then slowly coming back to the front, we'll fold back over the hips. Letting your head hang down again, noticing how this side feels compared to the other. Sending your breath into any tight spots. And then slowly coming back up. And let's swing our legs around and coming onto our hands and knees. Getting your wrists underneath the shoulders, knees under the hips, fingers wide. We'll do some cat cows here. So as you exhale, rounding your back up towards the ceiling. And then as you inhale, letting your belly sink down, head and tailbone up. Moving back and forth with your rhythm of your breath. See if you can slow down your movement, slowing down your breath. And then we'll come back to a neutral position, taking your hands a little further away from your knees. I'm going to take the left arm up towards the ceiling. And then bringing it through underneath that right arm, laying your head, shoulder, resting here, maybe letting your right elbow relax, hips staying up towards the ceiling, breathing into that upper back. And then we'll bring ourselves back up. We'll do the other side, right arm reaching up. And then sending that arm through, resting your shoulder, your right ear onto the mat, making sure it feels right for you. At any point, if things aren't feeling right, just don't do it. And then we'll come back up, bringing your hands back underneath your uh, wrists, underneath the shoulders. Let's send that right foot out onto the mat and maybe pumping the heel a couple times just to wake up the calves. And then we're going to bring that right leg up, pushing your heel out. Maybe lifting that leg up and down a couple of times. And then we'll bend the knee, foot flat to the ceiling. Let's pump that heel up and down. Pulling your belly button in towards your spine. And then we'll take the knee into a nice big circle. See how those hips are feeling today. And then the other direction. Bringing your knee back down to the floor will rest in child's pose, bringing your hips to your heels, resting your head down onto the mat. And then we'll come back up into our table position, doing the other side, left leg stretching out, toes on the mat, and just pumping your heel. Lifting that leg up parallel to the floor and letting it go up and down. 
And then we'll bend the knee, foot flat to the ceiling, pumping it up and down. And then taking that knee into a nice big circle on this side. And then taking it in the other direction. And bringing your knee back down to the mat. We'll just let the hips go from side to side. Little puppy dog wagging its tail here. And then coming back to center, let's curl both toes, bringing ourselves into a downward facing dog, maybe pumping one heel out at a time. And then bringing both heels towards the floor, hips up towards the ceiling, head in between your arms. And then we'll walk to the top of the mat, coming into our forward fold. Maybe bend your knees here, letting your head hang down. Maybe grabbing hold of the elbows and swaying gently from side to side. And then coming back to center, uncrossing your arms, bend the knees nice and generously, and we'll slowly roll ourselves all the way up, keeping your chin tucked until you're feeling stable. And then letting the shoulders roll down your back, standing up nice and tall in our mountain pose. So stacking hips above knees, shoulders above hips, ears above shoulders. Coming back to your breath. And then we'll inhale, reach the arms up, palms together, bringing them back down to our heart center. And do two more like that, reaching up. And exhale. Settling into your heels once more, reaching up and settling with your hands back to your heart. Good. So we're going to come into a breath of joy this morning just to bring more vitality and life into our bodies. So breath of joy is a three-part inhale, one-part exhale. So we're going to inhale the arms out in front of us, and then we're going to inhale them out to the side, and then we're going to inhale them all the way up to your ceiling. And then as you exhale, you can bend your knees, bringing your arms back down. And then we'll repeat that. Inhale, 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 and exhale. Bringing in fresh energy. Getting rid of any heaviness as you exhale. Beautiful. Let's do two more. And on your last one, just hanging out over your hips, letting your head hang down, shaking your head, wiggling those shoulders, and then slowly rolling yourself back up, making sure that you keep your chin tucked until you're feeling stable. And then you can lift your head, letting your shoulders roll back again. So bringing your hands back to your heart center, just taking a notice with your eyes closed, how you're feeling, hopefully you're feeling more energized, more alive, more tingly. And we'll come back to the top of the mat. We're gonna do a few sun salutations this morning to bring that inner light alive. So let's inhale, reach the arms, all the way up to the ceiling. 
Keeping your palms facing each other, we'll exhale, slight back bend. So opening your heart to the sun and then inhale, reaching up. Let's exhale, fold back down. Taking a breath, inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. We'll take the right leg back into our low lunge. So knee coming down to the mat, sinking into your hips. Squeezing those thighs together. Let's reach the arms all the way back up to the ceiling. Breathing here. And then we'll bring the hands back down to the floor. Curling your back toe, we'll lift that right knee. And then take the left knee back to meet the right. So we're coming back into a plank pose, getting your wrists underneath the shoulders, belly button pulling in, breathing here. And then we'll tip forward, maybe bending the elbows, lowering ourselves down to the floor, flattening out your feet, elbows hugging in. We'll come into a little baby cobra, lifting your head, and then lowering back down. Let's push ourselves back into our downward facing dog. Breathing here. And then taking another leisurely walk back up to the top of the mat, folding over your hips. Let's squeeze the thighs together to keep our back stable, reaching those arms all the way back up to the sun, grabbing hold of the sun energy and pulling it down into your heart. A moment settling here. And we'll do the other side. So inhale, reaching up. And exhale, slight back bend. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, slowly folding over your hips. Inhale, coming halfway up. And exhale, fold. Taking your left leg back, knee down to the mat, sinking into your hips. Squeezing those thighs to keep your balance. Let's reach the arms up. Breathing in. And then exhale, lower. Taking your left toe, curling it, we'll lift the left knee. Take your right leg back into our plank pose. Breathing here. Maybe lifting your belly button up a little higher. And then coming into our upward facing dog or little sphinx pose, whatever works for you. And then back into our downward facing dog. Hips to the ceiling, head to the mat. And let's walk towards the fingers, hanging out over the hips, squeezing those thighs, reaching your arms up. And bringing that sunshine back down into your heart. Taking a few moments to settle here, letting your shoulders relax, feeling that heart beating, feeling alive and vibrant. Beautiful. Let's come into warrior one. We're going to slide the right leg back. Coming into a warrior, bending into that front knee and making sure the back foot is nice and solid. Hands can stay at your heart center. Hips are facing forward. And then we'll inhale, reach the arms up, keeping that front knee nice and bent. Maybe sinking in a little bit deeper. 
We'll do a little flow here, bringing the palms together, back down to your heart. And then inhale, straightening the front leg as you reach the arms up. Exhale, sinking down. Moving with your breath. Bringing that beautiful sun energy down to your heart. And then letting yourself settle back with your knee bent, and your hands at your heart. We're gonna bring the elbows together and just opening up the arms. So opening, maybe a slight back bend here, and then bringing the arms together. Keeping that front knee bent. Beautiful, let's do one more. Opening up those arms, holding here. Being a warrior of peace and love. Bringing the arms back together. And we'll slide the hands to our waist. Let's straighten out that front leg. We're going to come into a little um, pyramid pose, hinging forward. Getting your torso to be parallel to the floor. Maybe bringing your hands down to the floor, lifting that back leg up parallel, keeping your toes pointing down, heels pushing out. If you're feeling nice and balanced here, you might want to reach the right arm up towards the ceiling. And then bringing your hand back down, we'll Bend into the left knee and set the right foot down. And then slowly roll back up to stand. Ah, shoulders roll back and down. Bringing your hands back to your heart center. We'll do warrior on the other side. So left leg can slide back, bending into that front knee. Hips are facing forward. Breathing here, feeling those feet nice and solid on the mat. And then we'll inhale, reach the arms up, and exhale, sinking them back down. This time, let's inhale, straightening the front leg, reaching up, and exhale back to your heart. Moving with your breath. We'll do one more and settling back at your heart center, sinking in a little bit deeper. Let's bring the elbows together and opening, expanding, chest shining, and then bringing the hands, elbows together, moving with your breath. And then letting your hands come back to your heart and sliding those hands to your waist. Let's straighten that front leg. And we'll come into pyramid pose, tipping your torso forward, finding some balance here, feeling those legs working, making sure your breath is flowing. And then maybe bringing your hands to the floor will lift that back leg up, making sure that your heels pushing out, toes are pointing down. And then maybe taking your left arm up towards the ceiling, finding how this side feels. And then we'll bring the left hand back to the mat, bending the right knee, left foot comes down beside it. And let's sink our hips down. We'll come into a little chair pose, bringing those arms out. Imagine you're grabbing hold of a balloon or a beach ball. 
And then slowly bringing your hands back down. We'll straighten out those legs coming into our forward fold. Breathing here. See if you can get a little deeper. And then we'll bend the knees. Let's ease our way all the way down onto the floor. Taking your legs out in front of you. <sighs> Letting your shoulders settle. Closing your eyes. Letting those legs relax after all that work. Noticing the quality of your breath. And then we'll take the right leg out and we'll bring the left leg in. Sitting up nice and tall. We're going to look over towards the right leg, reach the arms up to the ceiling, and then folding down towards your toes. Taking a few moments here. Breathing into any areas of tension or tightness. And then rolling yourself back up, reaching the arms back up. This time we're going to fold down the center. Bring your hands to the floor. Again, breathing into any tight spots. And then we'll come back up. Let's bring the left hand to the mat behind us. We're going to lift the hips, reaching the right arm up and over. Nice big side body stretch from your right fingertips to your right toes. And then easing your way back down to the floor. We'll switch our legs. So right leg comes in, left leg goes out. Sitting up nice and tall, looking over towards that Left leg, we'll inhale, reaching up, and exhale, folding over. Taking some time to breathe into any tight spots. And then coming back up, reaching up, folding down the center, hands resting, head, neck, and shoulders relaxing. And then rolling back up, let's bring the right hand behind. We'll lift the hips, left arm reaching up and over. Nice big stretch from your left fingers to your toes. And then we'll slowly bring ourselves back down. And maybe bringing your feet together, bringing those knees, give a little bit of a wiggle back and forth, little butterfly wings. And then maybe taking your feet a little further away from your body, wrapping your fingers around your toes, and see if you can bring your nose down towards your toes.
and then slowly coming back up let's bring those knees together and we'll do a little boat pose here so placing your hands underneath your knees maybe see if you can lift one leg off the mat and maybe the other coming into a little balance here making sure your tailbone feels okay maybe lifting your legs so they're parallel to your mat and engaging your core here see if you can take your hands away from your knees breathing nice full breaths maybe coming into a little canoe and then back into a boat go back to our canoe and back to the boat we'll do one more you got it into the canoe and back into the boat let's bring the feet down wrap your arms around your knees and let your forehead relax for a moment taking a full breath And then lifting your head up, maybe grabbing hold of an imaginary rope. We're going to see if we can lower ourselves down using your core, using your breath, keeping you nice and slow. You got it. And then letting yourself come all the way down to the floor. We'll stretch the arms and the legs nice and long. Breathing all the way into your belly, letting go. And then letting your arms float back down by your sides, banding your knees and lifting your hips a little bit, letting your hips rest back down on the floor making sure your spine is nice and long. You're gonna take the right toes to the ceiling, pointing your toes and just making some circles with those toes. Rotating your ankles one way and then the other. And with your toes pointed, let's make some circles on your ceiling. So starting small and gradually getting bigger and bigger. And if you wanted to continue to use your core here, you can always bring your arms over your head as you circle nice and big, engaging your core core a little bit and then taking it in the other direction getting smaller and smaller and when you have just a dot you can let your right ankle rest onto your left knee Maybe let your arms float back down. You might want to grab hold of the left knee from behind. And slowly pulling it in, giving that right hip a little stretch. If you're not feeling it in your right hip, you can always use your right elbow to push away that right knee. Take some time here, maybe closing your eyes, imagining your breath, easing away that tension in the hip. Observing how it shifts and moves. And then eventually dissolves away. And if you have no more sensations in your hip, you can bring your knee a little bit over to the left and then bring it in towards your chest a little bit deeper, finding a new pocket of tension to breathe into.
and then bringing your knee back to center. We'll release the hands, bringing our left foot back to the floor. And we'll uncross our leg. Let's take the left toes up to the ceiling, pointing them, maybe rotating your ankles on this side. And then the other direction. And with your toes pointed, maybe your arms are over your head. We're going to start with some small spirals belly button pulling in towards your spine, getting those circles to be a little bit bigger. And then the other direction, starting out big and gradually getting smaller and smaller. And when you have a dot, you can let that left ankle rest on your right knee, letting the left knee relax. Maybe take your arms and thread them through, bringing your right knee into your uh, chest, using that beautiful breath to ease away any hip tension. Moving your right knee a little bit over towards the right, finding a new pocket of tension to breathe into. And then coming back to center, uncrossing your legs, releasing your hands. Let's stretch the legs all the way out to the mat. Bringing your arms up and overhead, taking a nice big full breath in and out. And then we'll bring the left knee to our chest, wrapping your arms around your knee. You're going to come into spinal twist here, taking your right hand on top of that left knee. Left hand can relax in a T position and then slowly letting your right knee float down towards, or your left knee float down towards the right. Keeping your shoulders relaxing on the mat. Breathing all the way down into your belly. Three more breaths here. And we'll slowly release that right hand from your left knee, letting your left knee float down to the left, keeping it bent. We'll come into a lying tree pose. Taking your hands, we're going to do a little uh, abdominal massage here. So starting at your left rib cage and moving down towards your left hip bone and then over towards your right hip bone and back up to your right rib cage, making a circle and then just moving around, seeing if there's any tight spots, any lumps or bumps that need a little extra help get your digestive system, your bowels moving for you today. And then we'll come back with that left knee back up, stretching it back out. Let's bring the right knee in. Hands wrapping around that knee, 
taking your left hand to the top of the knee, right arm stretching out. And then we'll come into our twist, sending that right knee down towards the left. Shoulders relaxing, maybe looking over towards the right. With each exhalation, feel yourself sinking a little deeper, twisting a little more. And then slowly releasing your hand, coming back to center, bringing both knees into your chest and just gently rocking from side to side. And then we'll stretch the legs back out, coming into our corpse pose or Shavasana. Palms can be facing up. Feeling all parts of you resting on the floor. Maybe tucking your chin in a little bit, getting your back of your neck a little longer. Closing your eyes. Noticing how you're feeling. Maybe coming back to the intention that you set beginning of the class. Focusing in on your breath. Feeling cool air flowing in. Warm air flowing back out. Feeling your belly expanding with each inhalation and sinking back down. And while you rest here, I'll share today's poem by Dana Falds called Catch a Glimpse of Truth. If I turn at the right moment, I might catch a glimpse of truth. In hot pursuit of the ineffable, I could tumble into wonderland or lose my footing by sheer chance and find my whole life changed. Perfection exists, but I can't earn or grasp it. To walk the edge of a will and surrender, ease and effort, hope, and openness is the only way to move beyond the sealed envelope of suffering. Here's the amazing thing. The bursting, uncontrolled buoyance of spirit is never content to remain contained for long. It slips past my best defenses and suddenly I'm outside the known. As if the looking glass cracked before I can claim the image mirrored in the frame. When I sense the light that shines within. When energy emanates like a spring that won't run dry. When I am revealed to myself for what I really am. What can I do but raise my eyes skyward? Thanks be to the radiance of spirit. Truth tasted, felt, and seen. Thanks be to everything that came before and opened a score of doorways in a life that once held only walls.
bringing yourself back up to a seated, comfortable position. Getting your spine nice and long. Letting your shoulders relax. We'll bring our hands together at our heart center. We'll do a collective breath in and out, in through the nose and out through the mouth, breathing in and out. May you all have a very buoyant and joyous day. Namaste.